Hey guys, my name's Elmna, and today I'm going to be doing a speed paint video, but instead of the usual music in the background, I'm going to do something a bit different and do a little voiceover on a topic I've been wanting to talk about, which is finding your artistic style or technique. I'll have the speed paint video in the background instead so you don't get bored, but if you do get bored anyways, then... well, I guess I failed. Anyways, I just want to start out by saying that everything I say in this video is merely from my experience and not very technical like you would think. There's no real step-by-step -step advice I have, just some things to think about. I'm not at all claiming to be a professional of any sort, so I don't want to see comments like, oh, you're wrong about this and that, there's more to it than everything you said, blah 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 blah, and all that crap. There, you've been warned. So, a little background story. When I first started drawing, it was a pretty common age, which was when I was in preschool, I think. But back then I started out with the usual stick figures and odd alien-like shapes. You know, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, so when I bumped up a few grades in elementary school, it was then I wanted to kind of improve my drawings a bit. It was like one of those ambitious moments, despite being so naive and innocent that time. I would actually go to the school library and check out some how-to drawing books, and of course, being a little kid that loved everything magical and awesome, I got a how-to draw the characters from Powerpuff Girls book. Okay, let me tell you, getting this book was like the most amazing thing in the world to me. It had all these steps to draw the characters like the Powerpuff Girls, Mojo Jojo, the Mayor, and etc. And so for a long time, I copied the cartoon style, drawing pretty much all my characters as Powerpuff Girls with their signature big eyes and their bodies. Of course, eventually I gravitated to a different style, which at this point, I had a thing for the Looney Tunes and constantly drew all my characters to look like humanoid rabbits or something. Can you guess who was my favorite character from the Looney Tunes? Yeah, Bugs Bunny. When I grew a little, I usually watched my older brother draw. One of his drawings stuck out to me the most though, it being an anime character and profile view. It amazed me so much that I tried to copy the drawing several times, but of course, it just looked like chicken scratch compared to his. But this was the time when I got away from the cartoon style and attempted at a more anime-like style instead. And about a year or two later, I was probably about 11 years old or so, I think. And a friend of mine introduced me to manga and anime, my very first one being Naruto. Oh my gosh, I, I just couldn't I just couldn't put the book down. Like it was the most it was like being introduced to a whole new universe or something. I became obsessed with Naruto now trying to use the series style, but found it a lot harder because of my lack of knowledge for anatomy. So with that being said, that's pretty much the first step. If you're just starting out, or even if you have experience but suddenly feel stuck, it helps to find an artistic style that you may already know and try to go from there. You know, sure, I drew with the Naruto style for a long time, but you'll find out that as your art improves, so will your style eventually. As you keep improving, you eventually find other ways along the way to draw differently, such as the eyes, you know, the head, body. And this is kind of like where your own style gradually comes along, so just give it some time if you're unsure on what kind of style you're looking for. And if you really want to, it helps if you draw something, then redraw it a few times afterwards to see if there's any change in progress. You actually might be surprised at the different ideas or drawing styles you come up with. Now, to be clean or to be messy? That, my friend, is the question. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people worry about whether their artwork should be clean with amazing crisp line art, line art what the heck is lean art, and smooth coloring and etc. You probably also worry about that if you draw something messy, then there, others won't like it as much. Let me just tell you something right now, that's not true at all. And even if it is, it shouldn't even matter. Whether you want to have a bit more of a messy style or technique or a clean one, it's entirely up to you. It's a personal choice, something that shouldn't be made up because of other people's opinion. Of course, certain professional companies may require a more clean style, but that's not what I'm talking about here. 
I'm talking about you. What style do you want? What style do you feel more comfortable with? These are questions you're going to have to ask yourself because if you can't come to a conclusion, you're most likely going to have mixed feelings about your artwork all the time like I did. I've seen a lot of amazing artwork with clean light art and color or gorgeous clean painting style. I thought I wanted that kind of look, but every time I simulated the style, I always feel icky about it. Like it wasn't my art anymore because I was being very... I wasn't being very sincere about what I honestly wanted. I was only lying to myself, you know, kind of resulting my artwork to lack feeling. I honestly didn't want to have a clean style. I wanted mine to be messy and free like it is now, but to be comprehensible at the same time. When I finally understood that, art didn't really begin to feel like a chore anymore, and I actually slowly got the excitement for art like I did when I was little, and it felt pretty freaking amazing. I'm not gonna say to dismiss everything that you've probably heard of from like other people regarding finding your own style techniques, but personally the most important part on finding your own style technique in my opinion is to pay attention to how you feel in that moment while drawing. How do you feel when you're sketching? Do you feel like you want it to be more clean? Or do you like the sketch you look? Stop worrying about what other people may think because when you're drawing for yourself, it should be between you and your art. What do you want and how do you feel about it? Remember that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope in you enjoyed it and hopefully it helped in some ways. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Also, I am considering opening a Patreon. Patreon, Patreon, I don't know how to pronounce it, pronounce that, however you pronounce it. I'll go with Patreon account, and I'm not sure when, but when I do, I'll be sure to let you all know in case you'd like to support me. And um, if you do, then I greatly appreciate it. Once again, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.